Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of the Skyrim Remastered mods for the PlayStation 4. Uh, as I've mentioned, this is for the PlayStation 4, so if, uh, if anyone has tuned into this thinking uh, that it was mods for the Xbox or anything else, I do apologise. Uh, but most of the mods you will find on here are obviously of the lacking uh, in external assets, unfortunately. Uh, this week we'll be covering the clothing mods. I brought up the thing about the lack of external assets because I know a lot of people are looking for the more fancier stuff and myself included. Uh, so if you're looking for that unfortunately this isn't the place for it. Uh, this does however have all the stuff for the PlayStation 4 that is currently available in the clothing section. Uh, I'll cover as many of them as I can within the uh, the hour time limit, but I'm hoping to obviously not drag out the bit video. So if the video does go on a, a fair bit towards the end, I will just skip through and uh, give you the highlights basically. Uh, last week we covered the latest mod, so if you tuned in for that, thank you very much. And uh, the next fortnight we'll be going on to collectibles. Uh, so just gives you a heads up of uh, the weeks that are coming. Uh, uh, if there's any delay like in lagging uh, in the screenshots loading up, I do apologise. I'm uploading the Fallout 4 mods re review at the moment, so the internet might be going a little bit slower, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, on to the clothing. Uh, we have got, starting off from here, the Vampire's Ring of Vampire's Kiss, a Morrowind artifact. I have covered this guy Survivor 2290 uh, a few times on some of his various mods. So you probably will recognize his air intro when it says uh, something you missed from Morrowind was unique items hidden across Valenfell. Uh, <clears throat> such as this. The, vampire, uh, the Ring of Vampire's Kiss was a powerful ring originally found in Morrowind as random loot. Uh, the ring can be found on a new boss added by the Broken Fang Cave. Uh, this is the seventh in a series of unique recreated from previous Elder Scrolls games. Uh, the ring effects adds Vampiric Kiss in Mist Form and Shadow Stone. Uh, one thing I will add as well before I do carry on too much further, uh, when the Creation Club does come out, uh, I've done a bit of uh, research on this now, and it will be available on Skyrim Remastered, uh, for, uh, obviously because it's being done by Bethesda. Uh, one thing that I've noticed in a lot of the questions asked and um, lot of research is uh, the question will external assets be finally available to the paid contents if you want to call it that uh, through the creation club and so far the answer seems to be yes so for those people who are sick and tired of the PlayStation 4 uh, because of Sony's limitations not having anything as much as you probably won't want to pay for mods, the Creation Club will probably allow you to have some of these external asset mods which haven't been available. That includes the quest mods with uh, scripting, follow mods. Uh, as everyone knows, I've been after the Sophia, uh, the drunken stable girl thing, because uh, it's just absolutely hilarious. Uh, uh, the, uh, the fact that you can have a companion that follows you around and just gets pissed all the time <laughs> it's just uh, uh, just amused the hell out of me the book the, the uh, voice acting on that by a fellow youtuber final Celine as well uh, is absolutely fantastic uh, so if you haven't seen that check out the uh, channel uh, anyway, moving on, we've got four yeah, forsaken. I'm gonna say forsworn dreadlocks for beast forms. Basically, this will add the dreadlocks hair, hair that you get with the forsworn onto things like argonians and everything else. Uh, Fright Cockenrick phase one. Uh, have you ever wondered why you fought every dragon beast except Cockenrick? Well, why no more? Okay, so basically, this adds. Uh, be prepared, however, as he's the most difficult boss yet at level 99. Powerful spells, Alduin's very own Meteor Shout. Adds a boss for it that you can fight and get the final Dragon Priest Mask, in other words. Oblivion Artifact Pack. Uh, this is a collection of his artifacts from Oblivion. Uh, Miss Elixir's Cleaver uh, can be found on the table in front of Alduin's Wall in the Skyhaven Temple. 
The Mace of Doom can be found on top of a shelf in uh, Calixto's House of Curiosities in Windhelm. North, North Wind can be found in uh, Swindler's Den in front of the boss chest. Okay, the screenshots aren't actually matching up with the things there. Uh, the Black Hand Robes can be found in a pond in Castle Volcaya Courtyard. Uh, the Staff of Worms can be found on the table in Val Valerica's lab uh, near to the portal to the Salt Cairn. Uh, black hand robes and the oblivion artifact again if you just wanted the black hand robes uh, on their own ultimate player start not really a thing really but it does add a, a bunch of chests for you to pretty much unlock everything uh, staff path walkers even uh, path stalkers <laughs> even uh, it's an extensive mod that adds a new companion animal system to the game as well as a ranger's guild. Within the lodge uh, of the new guild, players will discover the altar that lets them craft animal totems and unlock permanent animal companion summons. Uh, the ability of these totems is tied to the character's skill in archery as benefiting a group of rangers. The mod adds new locations, followers, marriage, marriage, marriageable candidates, weapons and more. As usual, because it's uh, for the PlayStation 4, it only uses ex existing art and scripting assets as they are already found in the game. Uh, guards and storm cloaks don't wear helmets. Dovahkin Unlimited Shout Mask. Uh, it's found within Dragon Reach within the Court Wizards area. It's on the floor. It's based on uh, another Dragon Priest mask. So straightforward there. Standing Stone Loot. After you escape from Helgen's Keep and you exit the cave, go down to these the first standing stones. Uh, one knapsack for the thief, one burnt corpse for the mage, one barrel for the warrior. Each loot has its own rewards based on whichever stone you, you, you're going to pick, basically. Uh, uh, the Hush Hush Am Amulet uh, by Shazir. A very strong neck item designed for his personal use and for casual play. Added the ring next to it for mages because uh, he doesn't like the look of most high tier gear uh, in nerfed himself for aesthetics. Uh, basically, the, sam uh, the Samulet will fortify your shout timer, Magicka, and Magicka regain while reducing all incoming damages by 25%. Better dressed NPCs, version 2 for the Bard's College. Uh, right, okay, if uh, you, you want these new changes, only install the first version of this mod and install this and do not have them both installed. Uh, lets you give people more appropriate clothing, uh, shall we? Okay. Uh, he could not stand out of by how much of people are Skyrim running around in very silly clothes midwinter. So, no, you cannot have a tavern wench then running around Windhelm. Uh, okay. Uh, so I have given them more appropriate clothing. Uh, and this is version two, which includes changes to the Bard's College and some other minor changes, which we've watched the embedded video for all the changes. Uh, to watch the original video, blah, 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 blah. Uh, mod includes uh, Silda, the Windhelm beggar dressed mod uh, and a wedding dress mod, okay. And well, okay, goes on to list a whole lot of stuff, which I've got less time to do unfortunately ultra dragon priest mask a necklace of giant strength uh, this mod has two necklaces of giant strength one is disenchantable and the other is not they, uh, they can be found near the breeze home in white run uh, what it does is adds uh, 500 to carry weight 50 percent stamina regeneration plus 100 to stamina uh, fortifier one hand and two handed by 50%, resist frost, shock and disease 20%, resist poison. Uh, added new barrel outside of Breeze home where both versions of a necklace can be found. It is located in the corner near where the original necklaces could be found. It is possible to double up on them. Uh, dark armor set. As I've mentioned I think before in the past, this one uh, is pretty much the ebony armor, just made a little tint darker. Bleak Kindred uh, is a mod that adds a new playable race to Skyrim. Uh, the Slugath. Slugath. 
Oh, that game. Well, uh, the sadistic CD race uh, comes from beyond Nirn and is intrinsically uh, intrinsically linked to elemental ice. Uh, their raiding parties have already infiltrated many of Skyrim's holds, and they will show no mercy to the Dovahkin, even if he or she is drawn from their own stock. Uh, this mod also adds new weapons, armor sets, and spells of Slugarath or er, 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 origin, as well as a follower from amongst their kind. As usual, because of the PlayStation 4 mod, it only uses existing art and scripting assets uh, that are already found in the game. Polly's Craftable mod. This mod allows you to craft more items, armor, and weapons in Skyrim. These will include the attunement, uh, the attunement sphere, blood potion, bone meal, silver balls, charcoal, charred skeever, statues of the Bella, uh, flute, drum, loot, uh, dwemer, puzzle cubes, dynamo cores, former blood elixirs, forks, knives. Why well, you don't want to do that unless you really want to set up your own dining table. Uh, gilded wrist guards, glass, gold, silver goblets, gold, silver plates, gold septims, so basically create your own money, uh, headsman's axe, honey, imperial warhorn, kettle lockpicks, nightshade extracts, nord warhorn, paper, filter of the phantom, pickaxe, platters, <sighs> water walking potion, uh, powdered mammoth tuff, silver candlestick, silver sword, great sword, jug, silver husk extracts, torch, wolf armor set, woodcutter's axe, and a partridge in the pear tree. Woman weight 100. Uh, tavern barkeep clothes, torches mage, candlelight alteration. Uh, this mod was requested by a user, yet another victim of the 100 mod limits on PlayStation 4, so he wanted him to combine all these uh, these alterations into a single SP file so he could have his women in Tamil. Oh, okay, we've covered this many times. Uh, you can wear circlets with dragon masks, straightforward. Uh, you can wear circlets with hoods. Uh, sewing in Skyrim. Uh, if you have a question, uh, He's playing as a pacifist character who travels through Skyrim, correcting, collecting raw materials and selling crafted goods. It bothered him that there was no option to craft mage robes, so he decided to make a lot of clothes in Skyrim craftable. Uh, you will find crafting places, one outside Radiant Raiments and one outside the Guardian Stones. Look for some round rugs for players to sit on cross-legged like a cheap traders, but no, they won't. Uh, those hands on arm combat perk. Uh, armor of a Dragonborn. Adds the iconic armor worn by the Dragonborn, as in the trailer, I'm guessing. It's basically just iron armor. Uh, fine clothes. Seriously overstocked and rich merchants. As you can see, I've downloaded that one. That one is very useful. Uh, crafting in the clouds. Uh, this mod adds non-respawning uh, respawning cloud storage for each uh, for each enchanting, alchemy, and blacksmithing at their own respective workstations throughout the populated parts of Skyrim and Solstheim. In addition, there is a general store. Uh, there is a general storage chest at the docks of Solstheim and Windhelm for transferring your stuff off the island. Never lug around heavy crafting materials ever again, as it will be waiting for you each of the freely available crafting potions, uh, point crafting points. Okay, so this basically is going to work if anyone's played Fallout 4, like the workbenches. Once you've set up a transition line between them, you can pretty much access everything from every workstation, regardless of if you're on uh, Solstheim or like anywhere else. Uh, more layman's terms, you go to any uh, whatever stuff you decide to store in a potions table. If it's potions, ingredients, and stuff like that, they'll be they'll be there and available to use at any other station. Uh, hoods are separate. This one uh, I have actually downloaded myself, and for anybody who has actually downloaded this you, you'll know what i mean when i say there is one armor within there that is very uh naturistic put it that way if you want to play as a naturist character even though there is some pretty bad shading on, on certain areas and they look as about a as uh, 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 
and the character will look as atomically correct as a Barbie and Ken doll, uh, then this one is for you. Ring of Wear, Wear to Dolver King. Where to buy Dolver Okay. Adds a craftable ring that points you in the direction of a quest current quest marker. Why you can't just use the spell, I don't know. Overstocked rich merchants and game environment tweaks. Uh, rebound, playable scale, skeleton race. I'll be really glad when the. Uh, I was skeptical at first, but I'll be really glad when the Creation Club comes out because at least the. the, the Variation in these mods will improve slightly. Uh, house calls represent the holds, so you can actually separate them. Uh, depending on where your house call is, they will carry the shield of that particular area. Gimp gear, if you say so. Life's wheel. Wedding dress. Okay. Uh, unused clothing. Very simple mod adds clothing that isn't otherwise accessible to the inventory at Radiant Raiment in Solitude. Also equalizes the enchantments for master level college robes and raises the Archmage robe skill bonus to 25% instead of just 15%. He made this for his own use, but he uploaded it for others' use as well. Better dressed NPCs. This is the base version of the other mod that was featured earlier with the college overhaul. Uh, so if you have got this version or you're only interested in this version, then there you go. Uh, God's Fane Ring. An extremely overpowered ring that gives you a boost to Magicka Stamina, Health, Carry Weight, Armor Rating, Disease and Potion Resistance, Health, Magicka, Stamina Resistance, Gen Regeneration and 10 times Skill Experience. You can craft a ring at any forge for one gold, but be aware this is made for cheating and will craft 10 at a time. It is also... It will also bring your smithing skill straight to 100 and selling will get you 100 or close to 100 speech. Have fun. Uh, Giselle Whiterun Clovia. Uh, right, okay. uh, this mod adds a Clovia to Whiterun. Her name is Giselle. I'm not going to pronounce that last name. An Imperial that has set up in the Drunken Huntsman. Uh, she has come with a plethora of clothing options. Take a look. Uh, added an imperial female merchant, White Runs Drunken Huntsman. She sells, buys clothing primarily. Uh, has a plethora of clothing options. Included, includes clothing that is playable but not lootable. Includes items from Dawn Guard and Dragonborn as well. And that's pretty much it. Color added nocturnal robes uh, for anyone who hasn't seen it or hasn't seen any past videos. Uh, I basically have done a mods showcase for this video. If you want to go and check it out in my channel, it was in the the, the, the it'll be in the playlist for the mods reviews, uh, pretty much as this video will be. So you just need to scroll back a little bit. Uh, it's called the color the color added nocturnal robes. And it's by Kayan Forty Nine. Uh, basically what this mod does is it adds a cheat chest as you can see in the little screenshot there this is behind the blacksmith in white run and when you go there there is armored version and non-armored versions of multicolored robes everything from a light blue to pale green uh, black robe which to be honest looks like the absolute best version of it uh, it basically takes the standard nocturnal nocturnal robe which you can get which i might add i've also done a, a, a head video for if you want to check that out so, uh, already as well hey i've got to sell my channel somehow uh and uh instead of having the blue version with the white trim on the sleeves this just makes a complete color version so as you can see in that screenshot you've got the pure red version with none of the trim showing uh you can have the hoods on or off and it is quite good uh, that big statue is actually there as, as well. It's not just been uh, screenshotted in. Uh, when you find the chest, that statue is in front of it with the red attire on as well. Uh, one thing I will say about this though, I, uh, unless the mod's been updated since I last used it, uh, I haven't been able to increase any of the armor, but this is an easy fix. If you get a circlet or boots or any other type of uh, wrist guards or anything like that, you can add them onto your character and with a really good blacksmithing ring you can improve them to such a degree that to be honest you wouldn't need any other armor for, uh, in any other area so it's up to you how you do it 
Recolor Project Pack, all generic jewellery. Uh, Wincor's Thune, Saran and Mannequin, Mannequins, Dragon Spawn. Uh, okay, if you have Drusilla as a current follower, then before you update a small, please log into your game, reclaim all your items so you can give them back to her, then dismiss her. After you dismiss Drusilla, you'll be able to update the mod. If you fail to do this when you update it, you'll lose the items she's carrying, lose her as a follower, and lose your ability to recruit other followers. No, oh, just a few minor little problems there then. Uh, Dragon Spawn is a mod that introduces a new antagonist race to Skyrim. Along with new equipment and the follower, this is in the initial off offering of the mod for the mod. Uh, his aim was to continue to expand upon it to fully realise the story of this mysterious breed of a dragon kind. Uh, because this mod is primarily for the PlayStation 4 platform, uh, since that's the one that he plays on, all of these new items use existing in-game graphics and art assets. Bias race tweaks. Uh, basically just overhauls the race tweaks for various different races. Reaper's hood, which is basically the Dark Brotherhood hood. <clears throat> Makes Reaper's hood craftable by tanning rack. It's misspelled on purpose. Okay. So yeah, there you go. If you want the Reaper's hood. Uh, executioner's mask kind of style. Actually, that's not quite bad. It's not the Dark Brotherhood mask after all. It is an actual executioner's hood. Uh, Breed's home basement with extra, oh, with extras. Dragon priest chest. Okay. Tullius armor uses Daedric. Stats and perks. Taking too long to hold. Uh, Archmage gear mod. Demon's path, not really a colony mod. The executioner's pack. Uh, makes various parts of executioner's outfits equipable and usable by the player. Makes the various parts of the outfit like armor. Uh, you will now get the matching, the matched set bonus if you are wearing all the parts of the outfit. Parts of Dark Brotherhood armor can also be used to get the bonus. See there, it's pretty much like the other mod was. Uh, if you're looking for the executioner's hut, uh, Knight Paladin Grebor's armor, uh, the chef, and why is there all everybody seem to be looking like the vampires? <laughs> uh, Ethereal Ring, Aldian Ultimate Armory, Gifts of the Observer, Dragonborn Gear, God Ring Box. Craftable enchantable jewelry, uh, smithing chest supplies, master necromancer robes, wearable elder scroll, summoner's ring, craftable earring, disenchant overhaul, uh, the heavy armor hood, the cult of Nidog. Uh, 200 years ago, a legendary hero left. The life to fame behind a uh, life uh, let the life of fame behind to find solitude and an easy life. What this hero found is a cult of Nidog. Uh, the cult has been long gone, but what happened to the cult? Who or what is Nidog? And what artifacts did they leave behind? Get an entry to the cult's hideout, which looks like a variation on some buildings we've seen before. Uh, try traveling northeast from Winterhall, travelling across along the coast, find the artifacts of the Nidog's coast and journals left behind by the legendary hero uh, to help unravel what happened in and what happened in and to the cult. Uh, Vital Intel the Dungeon mod is a medium high level dungeon uh, and brings in more immersive lighting so uh, and bring in more immersive lighting so a torch or light spell could be useful in certain areas. The ancient Nordic armor piece found in this mod has a fire cloak enchantment and a force push enchantment so it is not advisable that you wear it in public places or, or put it on a mannequin uh, so always store it in a chest if not being used okay uh, you can see that it does actually look pretty good although it's about like you said it's very dark in places okay i'll put on to favorite them for future use uh, Ring of Resistance, Armoured Clothing, 
god robes for the archmage, uh, armored mage robes, star fees and assassins upgrade, uh, dragon priest gear overhaul, god tier mage robes, uh, hand wraps, lights and heavy, uh, the warrior after death, not really a clothing mod, marathon gear, marathon gear, what? All oh, right, okay. Some light armor and stamina users, aka bowmen, bow not included. That is actually that's that's the armor I use on my uh, character. For those who always want to know, that is actually the uh, the original name for that style of armor is actually the Limway's armor, and it's one I uh, I actually use. There is one as well called uh, Black Gate or Black Reach or something like that. Uh, and another set which you can get courtesy of the Helgen starter chest as well. Uh, it's basically that one as well, it's the one I use for my uh, uh, VRO uh, character. Uh, clothing, forge, crafting, uh, archmage robe and sigic, uh, masks and masks with hoods, the avoid rest. Vampire relics version 2, Loki armor set. Uh, female player mannequins, does look a lot better than the base ones, I must know. Carriage driver overhaul, uh, useful merchants, Ophelia Grey Main Tavern outfits, craftable unarmored and armored vampire robes, uh, vampire royalty robes, Injun Black Briar Tavern wench, <laughs> uh, craftable everything for Dawn Garage. You can see this one I have actually downloaded from it myself and is very, very useful. Uh, one thing I will point out on this though, uh, it does show something on one of the screenshots, but I'm not sure which one. Uh, it does mention that you can craft, uh, where is it? Yeah, uh, on the second line down here, it does say apparel for Force One. It does not let you craft Force One armor. I've had this mod for quite, uh, this mod for quite some time and Force One armor does not appear in it. Most of the other ones do though. Uh, same one again, pretty much for all the other game. Uh, craftable everything, special, uh, special weapons, uh, unenchanted dragon priest mask, craftable sigic order robes, uh, craftable shagroth outfits, uh, skin ripper mage chest, helgen chest of surprises, uh, star for star treasure and bat rewards for battle mages, treasure the Senkund round. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I do apologise for sp speeding up there. I'm just uh, 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 yeah. aware of the uh, timing on these the videos. And to be honest, I wouldn't insult your intelligence by dragging out the video just so I could get more uh, uh, more actual air time when it's stuff that has been covered in past times before. I don't agree with that, to be honest. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, Lastly, if you have stuck around it this long, thank you very much for watching all of the video. Uh, when the Creation Club comes out, I will be doing some stuff with it uh, because Skyrim is something that, when it was announced that it was coming back to the PlayStation 4, I was really excited. And then uh, after seeing some of the mods that were available, I got semi excited, but then as time's gone on and the more I've actually seen what the Xbox and obviously PC, which has had it for a lot longer, and obviously they're always going to have the best version. But after seeing what the Xbox was getting mostly, and not basically uh, not the uh, PlayStation Four, uh, I kind of toned down on a lot of stuff I was actually doing on it, mostly covering the mods reviews instead and occasionally trying out some of the best mods so at least when I talked about some of these I would actually have some like, knowledge of them. Uh, when the Creation Club comes out I will be going full tilt again back on with uh, Skyrim and hopefully if it does give us as everyone else seems to speculate at the moment if it does give us the external assets again I'll be able to give you a full well-deserved Skyrim remaster either gameplay or mod review then as well. Uh, I'll also be covering the mods which will appear on the Creation Club as well. So, 
uh, thank you very much for watching. If you don't like the video, please give it a like. If you didn't, please give it a like anyway. I need the support over all these big name channels. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week when we'll be covering the latest mods. So, thank you for watching. See you later.